out whenever you can. This is Randy Thompson coming to you live with Trudy Adams and Miss Melody. We're getting ready to canter Melody for the first time since the winter started. We've had a long winter. She's been ridden maybe six times. And uh, the good news is that Trudy has brought her to a new level. We've been using half halts and the steps to connection. We have no idea what she's going to do in the canter. But uh, last year before the winter started was the first time we asked her to stay connected in the balance. Good. That's all right. That's all right. Praise her. Praise her. She doesn't know what to do with her face. She doesn't know what to do. And that is so true. Because we've never asked her to stay connected like this. This is like the second time we've asked her to, second time maybe in the canter, right? So let her make a lot of mistakes. She's not used to riding from the rein to the leg in the canter. Good. Slow down the front end with your outside rein and leg till she lifts her shoulder up a little. Praise her. Good, good. I like how you gave her a little release. It's okay if she breaks gates. She doesn't know what to do. Doesn't know how to hold herself. But that was a nice response, wasn't it? Good girl, Miss Melody. Girl. And that shuffly stuff she did in the beginning is sometimes, I think, when she's just not sure, am I supposed to canter or trot? That's exactly right. She didn't know whether she should canter or trot, and especially with a connection, because this is new to her. Yeah, that she was, used to like to, boom, throw her head up. Throw her head up and run. I remember when she uh, couldn't pick up the lead at all behind. Good. Take your time. Take your time. Take your time. Girl. Everything's about, you're just... Putting, you've got her on a learning curve now at a whole different level to connect her with your half halts and your everything you're doing, the steps to connection. This is huge. She's never been able to do this in her life. Take your time. So this is big, yeah, big, big for this mare. Right she's hot she and nervous and has never been ridden in a balanced canter. Good, good. Praise her. She's trying. Just praise her. Good, good. Praise her. Supple her with your outside leg and rein. Good. So she picks up her shoulder a little bit. She might break eight, but we don't care. Good, good. For her to, it's like she just doesn't quite know how to move that shoulder back over when I ask her. That's right. And it's hard for any horse. Now, if it's more comfortable, you can start doing figure eights with her so she doesn't get bored. And all you're going to do is make a lot of mistakes right now because this is new for her. I like how she's staying with you. She may not know how to stay from your leg to your rein and how to stay round yet, yeah. but she's waiting for you in new ways that she didn't do before. So praise her a lot. Girl. Yes, this is very good. Good. Take your time. That's right, watch your inside rein. Remember to slow her down. You're gonna use more of your outside aids. Yeah, take your time. She's gonna fall in and out of the canter. We expect that at this point. Good, take your time, praise her a lot. Try to keep her soft in the front. Yeah, she's leaning a little bit. Okay, if she's leaning, then you might be holding the rein a second too long. Or she could really be leaning. Good, good. Now feel if she's leaning, pick her up with a half halt and let her go. Like pick up your outside rein until she, she lifts her shoulder and praise her. Pick up your outside rein and praise her. That's all right. Change directions, whatever you need to do. That, that's, it. that's what they do though. Their heads start going up or they go down because she doesn't know how to stay connected from your leg to the rein yet. That's all that is. She's not being bad. She's learning another way to be able to carry you. Good. Slow down the front end a little bit. Right there. Praise her. Slow down. Half halt. That's all right. She might break gate. Doesn't matter. Good girl. She's just learning. Good girl, Miss Melody. Take your time. She'll stick her nose out because she's been doing that for the last four years. So she doesn't know how to stay from your leg to the rain. That's all it is. That's all right. Shorten your, good correction, shorten your outside rein, just take her back. She can't do anything wrong. Remember, this is like the second time we've cantered her and asked her to stay in a connection. So if she gives you one step, it's a miracle. Good. Good, take your time. Slow down the front end. That's good, Trudy. Slow down, that's it. Watch your inside range. She's going to flip you. She's ignoring my range, period. 
She's not ignoring you. She doesn't know what to do with them. So remember that. She's not ignoring you. It feels like it. It's not ignoring. She's like, what is this? Because we've never asked her to stay around or connected in the canter like this. So you just remember that. She's learning. There's nothing she can do wrong. She's learning a Good. Praise her when she gives it to you. Because every step she does, is a, it's a miracle. Good. Slow down the outside rein and leg. Yep. Good. Lift up the front of your body. It's all right. It's all right. Slow down the... Good. When you come to the trot, make sure she does like a mini stretch so she gives you her back and neck from your leg again. Good. 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 Give her a half halt on the outside rein. Praise her. Half halt on the outside. Praise her. Half halt on the outside. Good, good. So all she's doing with a half halt on the outside is breathing in, feeling it come up through her chest, through her sh back through her shoulder blades, and then through her lower back, which feels like her seat is coming home. That was good. Do you need to take a walk break? That's pretty intense what you just did. And we've been doing it now for six minutes, so you need a walk break. Tell me what you're feeling different and what she's doing. Well, you know, finally when she kind of relaxes through her back, it's really a nice roll and canter. Yes. Then she kind of loses it for the moment, and that's when, I guess what gets tired on me with her is she pulls on me. Yes. You know, and I'm trying to do release and all, but, you know, it's just her old ways, and it's still a whole lot better than it used to be, but... And it's scary to let go, because before, if we let go, you know, if you let go completely, she would just bolt around the ring. falling out of balance or something and then she'll lean on my hands to get her balance. That's, that's right. I'm trying to use the outside rein, but sometimes at the canter it just... Well it's hard because she's not used to you even having a feel of her mouth at the canter. Yeah. She's like, what's this? Yeah. And why do you want me to do this? What a good girl. Let her have a mind break. That was very nice, Trudy.